Hey YouTube, this is David, the Georgia photographer. And today I start the 100 millimeter Pentax macro review. Let's do this. And I'm back. All right, what I've got is I have an M42 thread mount adapter to the X-T3. I learned a few things about this adapter working on the review for this lens. I'm gonna go over the adapter right quick and then I'm gonna get into the lens review. If you ever use an M42 screw thread adapter, understand it's two parts, it's actually three. There's a ring in here, a flat ring like a giant washer. How this is made is you have this aluminum housing and then they bore it so that that plate and then this threaded ring fit down in it and they hold those in with little set screws around the perimeter, there's three of them. I didn't realize these were loose or not super tight. They were they were tight enough that when I put it on the camera, it didn't move. What they're for is, is when you put the lens on the camera, you know, since you're adapting it, it may not time top dead center with the stuff. Maybe the aperture information is on the bottom. You can loosen those three set screws, index it to the top, and then retighten them, you know, and make it in the correct orientation for to fit your camera. I had it come apart on me because of that. I, I had the lens, I went to adjust the aperture rings, and I didn't have the lens very tight. When it hit the bend, it broke loose, you know, it clicked. Well, I just snugged it down. When I did, this thing spun and came out of the housing completely. If it weren't for my Leatherman, I wouldn't have been able to put it back together in the field. Just be aware, that ring isn't rigidly mounted, and it's there, it's an adjustment, so that you can to dial in the lens to fit your camera. So don't overdo the, that tightening the camera lens because I did. By the way, it's a photo deox and it works really well. All right, now for the lens review. This is the Pentax Asahi Super Multi-Coated, yada, yada, yada. It's a F400 millimeter macro lens by Pentax. This little lens is a gem of a piece of glass. Here comes the ladies. See, they're going to the swimming pool. Where, Sierra done gone? Yeah. Okay. This lens was designed for the manual film cameras that Pentax made. It was never designed for electronic cameras in any way. I think that's why it has an M42 mount on it. But it has no electronics whatsoever. It doesn't do anything like distance. You know how the D-series Nikkor lenses will, will calculate distance to the subject? It has none of that. This little lever tells the camera what aperture it's set on. As you can see, as I adjust the aperture, it moves with it. It's directly connected to the aperture ring, I believe. This plunger, or this plunger one, activates this auto manual switch. And if you had an early Pentax camera, I think some of them had aperture priority or aperture control, and you can actually stop down. If I open up the aperture and I point it through the camera, you can actually see, see I can, I can stop down and open up the aperture with this plunger with that switch selected. On the Fuji, it's manual control. It's just a manual aperture ring for me. What I've learned from using this lens is it's razor sharp. Like at every aperture, I have had zero issues with this lens being blurry at wide open. It just isn't. Now it is F4 aperture. It only has six aperture blades. It weighs, I think it's, uh, I was looking it up and I believe it weighs almost 13 ounces, like 12 and a half, 13 ounces. So it's about three quarters of a pound. It's all metal construction with glass, literal glass elements. It don't have plastic elements in it. It's a well-made piece of equipment. My lens cap says Honeywell Pentax. I'm assuming the Honeywell Corporation owned them for a period of time. I don't know the history of Pentax well enough to know, but I thought that was an interesting little piece of information on the lens cap to say Honeywell. While I was looking this up, I noticed several resources. There's a Pentax forum. I think it's a Pentax user forum, as well as Ken Rockwell site. Both list this as an F32 minimum aperture, but mine only goes to F22. And they make this in a dental version as well, but mine's not marked for the dental markings. Mine's just the standard macro lens. For portraiture, it takes phenomenally sharp images. And for macro, of course, it does a really good job for that. Uh, the macro scale is marked on the front of the lens and it has a reference line on the barrel to give you the reproduction ratio 
right here on the barrel. It has a buttery smooth focus throw. It is almost one full revolution to focus from min to max. So it does have a long focus throw. And for macro, you need that. You need a really fine adjustment. And I find when I shoot it wide open that like even shooting 15, 20 meters, when I do the focus magnifier on the Fuji, I can see the focus moving in and out rapidly. It's very fine adjust focus. Works really well. I actually like this lens a lot. This lens could easily replace the 105 f2.5 nickel or if it had a little bit more aperture. That's the only reason I'm hanging on to the 105 is it has that f2.5 aperture for low light. I really like to shoot in poor lighting conditions and that you know that's over a stop a lot it's a toss-up but in all reality i'll probably just stick with the nickel or not because of the lens quality because this is a really high quality lens i really like this lens it runs about the same price as the f 2.5 maybe a little cheaper it's but it's right there with it but its quality is phenomenal i love this little lens it takes beautiful images if you've got enough light to drive f4 the image is just well Take a look. So in closing, the 100 millimeter Pentax F4 macro lens is a winner. It does double duty as a portrait lens and a macro lens. It, it covers all the bases. It ticks all the check boxes except low light. If it had a little more aperture, I'd be sold on it. But it's a great piece of glass. So if you're into old vintage lenses, it's worth a look. So with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer. I really appreciate you guys watching. And thank you for subscribing and all that stuff. And I, you guys are amazing. I really appreciate it. So until next time, this is David, and I'll see y'all later. Go get your camera out and go take some pictures with it. All right?